So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little collab with this guy. Hey guys. Charlie the Maker. Some of you already know Charlie. Charlie is my son and he has his own channel, which you'll find in the link below. If you wouldn't mind heading on over there and giving him a little sub, I'm sure it'd be really chuffed. Charlie is getting into making stuff and has been for the last, what, about a year or so? And uh, really loves it because basically I drag him to some shows and things like that. And he's kind of got inspired by other people making stuff. You know, he's, he's, he wants to learn how to make things, which is really cool. So loads of people have asked us to do a little collaboration together. So today is your lucky day. So what we thought we would do is Charlie, if you've seen some of Charlie's work, um, if you haven't, again, please head on over to his channel and have a look. Um, he does a lot of stuff with pallet wood. Because he likes pallets. And we've always got pallets hanging around here and it's quite cool because you can make stuff with this stuff. Hmm? With this stuff. So you can make some really funky things with pallet wood, which Charlie has already done. So what do you want to make, Charlie? Um... Probably like a mini pallet. A mini pallet? Yeah. So we're going to make a large pallet into a mini one. Now, I'll tell you what, how about we chop up some pallet wood and we'll see where we go. What do you reckon? Yep. So what we do is we chop up some pallet woods. Pallet woods? We chop up some pallet wood to get some wood from the pallet. And then we'll see where that takes us. Happy with that? Yeah. Happy days. Let's go. Right. We've got all these pallets, so what we're going to do now is chop these up and get these ready for something. Not sure what yet, but it will come to us. So we're now going to uh, run these pieces of pallet wood through the thickness to make them all the same thickness and to clean them up a bit as well. Okay, so we've just put these through the thicknesser. Now we're just gonna run them through the table saw to kind of straighten them up a little bit. Ready for glue up, that's your job. Up on the table saw, and now we're gonna glue them together to make one big pallet with blank. I reckon it's gonna be a funky So we've glued all these up now and we're going to leave this overnight. Uh, once we, once these are dry, we need to then run them through the thicknesser again, glue them back up to make one solid blank. Look how many clamps we've used! <laughs> <laughs>
into one big blank. What we're gonna do is make it into a circle and then it'll be ready to turn on the lid. There it is, our palette wood blank. What do you reckon? Yeah. Just yeah? yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this up on the lathe and just see if we can make a bowl from it. I think it'd be pretty weird to see a palette wood bowl. I'm sure someone else has done this, but we haven't.
Okay, so I have some of this food safe uh, product and I'm just going to put some on so I can use it for like a fruit bowl um, and then we'll be finished. Okay, so there we go. And if you want to get some of this stuff, it is by Chestnut Products. All right, let's put our logos on there and we're done. And there it is. The little pallet wood collaboration bowl. Charlie, the maker. We hope you like this guys, uh, it was just one of those things that we wanted to do, plus loads of you have called for it as well on my channel and Charlie's channel. Please don't forget, if you haven't checked out Charlie the Maker's channel, please head on over and give him a little subscribe. Uh, he would love to have you on there, he does make videos, not as regular as me, but obviously he's got schoolwork to do and bits and pieces, but he loves making things. Made quite a few pallet projects, as you've already sort of seen, uh, and or may not have seen, um, but um, and other things like bowls, pens, and bits and pieces. Um, but what do you think? We've got our logos on the bottom there, uh, which we burnt in. Now I used the uh, burning irons we got from Von Hank uh, on Etsy. I'll leave a link below for Martin. His name is. He makes these really cool, uh, kind of like burning things, um, and uh, he sent me down some other stuff actually to do some leather work with. Uh, and I'll be doing a video on that fairly soon, so that'll be pretty cool, so look out for that. But in the meantime, please check him out. Um, but yeah, there we go, I mean, we left it kind of rough um, and ready, really, because it's pretty much pallet wood, so... Uh, what do you think, Charlie? Good. Yeah? Did you yeah. enjoy doing it? Yep. <laughs> Charlie enjoyed doing it, um, and um, yeah, it was really good fun, actually. It did take us quite some time, because we had to do a lot of gluing up, um, coming back, gluing up, coming back. Um, but yeah, really, really, it was it was quite cool, and something that you guys could probably make as well if you've got an old pallet lying around. Um, we decided to sort of put this through the thicknesser and sort of like sand it back, but you don't have to do that. You can make it even rougher looking by just sort of leaving it like natural, really. Um, but um, there we go. It's a bit bit of a fruit bowl. We used the food safe stuff in there as well, so you can use it as a fruit bowl. You probably wouldn't want to put your cereal in it though. Well, thanks for joining us. We do hope you have a fantastic weekend. And guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you liked the bowl. Thank you for your, all of your support. So it's good night from me. And it's good night from him. Take care.